Hi Shrek fans, now let's do another mating exercise. In the last one you had a horse in 4B, but this time it's a dragon. So what do you need in your hand to mate this king? Why don't we start by one gold and a pawn. Well the fastest way is to uh, drop the gold to 3C first and king 1b and don't make a dragon check here it's gonna be no mate after it's blocked so it's pawn sack to 1b and then dragon goes in and checkmate and uh... you can also mate it by uh... just checking with this dragon but it's gonna be a longer mate because the king side will drop a rook to block uh, gold to 3c king 1a pawn to 1b but now the rook can take it so dragon takes it and then rook drop and checkmate okay now let's try a rook and a pawn It's rook drop to 3b and king 1a and again it's not dragon to 4a it's gonna be no mate after it's blocked so you have to drop a pawn here and let the king come over to 2a and then dragon to 4a checkmate okay so let's change this rook to uh, knight It's not a good idea to make the dragon check. So it's knight to 3d and then king 1a and right, it's not the dragon check yet. It's pawn drop, king 2a and then the dragon check. But it's not to 4a, it's to 2c. King 3a, dragon goes in and checkmate. Alright now, this one is really difficult. A bishop and a pawn. If you can solve it, you're very good. Now the first move is not bishop drop to 3c, because king can go to 2a, and it's simply no mate. So the right move here is to uh, bishop drop to 4d. You put the bishop one step away from the king. And it has to be 4d, not any of other squares along this diagonal. You'll see the reason later. Now after bishop 4d, king 2a. Now this is why dropping the bishop to 3c wasn't good. Because now you can make this dragon check to 2c, king 3a. Now the reason that the bishop had to be on 4d, not any other squares, is this move, bishop to 5c and promote. Now the best king side can do is block it with a bishop. So after that pawn drop, and then dragon goes in. Now this is why the blocking piece had to be a bishop, or a silver actually, because he can now block it. But then, dragon takes it, has to take it with bishop, and pawn promotion, and then, if the blocking piece was a silver, it's made in one here, right? The silver on the head. But when it was a bishop, you can drop it to 7c, and checkmate. Alright, uh, now, let's, uh, go to the next position why don't we move this pawn in one c to uh, here making an escaping route for the king now it gets a bit more difficult okay let's start by uh, a silver and a rook
the answer is 0 to 3c king moves over to 1c and then you see a good move here is this rook sack and then dragon goes in so it's checkmate notice how the silver blocks this way all right now how about uh two silvers yeah it's silver to 3c of course king will move over to 1c now what well you're gonna see a beautiful move here a silver drop to 2d force him to take it with a pawn and let the pawn block this king's escaping route and then now the silver doesn't have to block this 2d square so he can move it moves to 3b and arm promote making a discovery check king runs but dragon check and checkmate oh by the way silver sack to 2d drop was really beautiful but to tell you the truth uh, just dropping a silver to 2b is also a checkmate uh, because after uh, king moves you have another beautiful tactic here silver to 2a arm promote he can't take it it's gonna be our gnarlier mate so the king runs it doesn't matter which way he goes you have another beautiful sacrifice here right it's silver promotion sack so now the dragon can go in and checkmate beautiful all right now how about uh changing one silver to a uh, bishop bishop and a silver well actually in this case silver to 3c is wrong answer it's no mate after king to 1a see so here you have to drop a bishop uh, bishop drop to 3c and silver drop and you can promote it to here so again right you make this sacrifice and then checkmate but uh, alternatively you have a faster way here well it's this beautiful sacrifice bishop drop to 3a now if he takes it silver on the head and then drag and check beautiful so the king side cannot take it so let's say the king goes to 1a silver drop and 1c and checkmate all right now uh, how about a bishop and a knight well here is bishop to 3c if he goes this way it's a simple mate by knight drop so uh, he'll move to uh, 2a but then knight drop to 1c and the rest is a simple checkmate okay now finally uh, let's try a gold and a pawn yeah it's gold to 3c and after king 1a you know it's not the dragon check right pawn sack and dragon goes in and then after king runs you can make this check and checkmate alright that's all for this lesson and see you next time